Hello Tankers, welcome back to Motion RC. I'm James and today we're doing an overview on the new updated Henlong Tiger 1. Uh, this one is coming in the S33 scheme. A uh, very popular scheme. This comes from um, World War II, would have been in Curse. It's the second SS Panzer Division uh, Tiger tank. Probably the most popular among modelers is the uh, dual camouflage. Normally you see the Tiger 1, it's always in that base gray. And they still got that version too, but um, now we have another Tiger 1. Because the Tiger 1 platform is just great for both models and in real life it was just a really popular if you're into tanks you're gonna know about the Tiger 1 so what you see here though is everything laid out I already pulled it out of the box no need to show you that it comes buried in styrofoam but all good to go you pull your tank out and basically everything's on it and then you just got to put on some of your um, accessories there's some nice roping cabling you got to put on all the anti artillery some of the machine guns and just some of the little bits but not too in-depth for the most part most of it is uh is already done on this tank which is great there were no hubcaps you had to put on a lot of the tanks you have to do that um for them so a little tedious if you will but uh nothing hard but when you get it out again nothing else is in and there are some other updates on this tank like all the tanks we've been selling recently our new lineup all of them are now coming with the tk7 um board so basically what that means you get an updated sound system now updated controls every time they've changed that controller the proportional controls have gotten better and better and this one is no different um you're also going to get in this the new smoke system. So it used to be a pumper um, type system, a plunger, if you will, where it could get gunked up, it could get it could get stuck, it could not work as effectively. Now it's more like a vaporizer inside. So you see when we turn it on and get the smoke going, the smoke is almost immediate and it comes out in more force, which is great um, for guys like that, uh, guys who like that. And then as far as the other stuff you get in the box, so again, these come ready to run. So you're gonna be getting uh, your battery and a charger, and it's just a USB charger. It takes a good little while to charge if it ever gets uh, empty, but take that out, put it on charge right away when you open your box. You do get the tank figure, you get smoke oil so that you can fill up, and a little goes a long way. The bottle they give you will probably last you years, um, uh, a good long time, depending on how often you run, unless you're running it. 24 hours a day, but it's gonna last a good long time. You get extra track links, so if you want to extend, lengthen, shorten one of your track links break, break, you get about four of them, which is great, just some extras for you. You get your IR sensor, because all these tanks, again, can play uh, with each other in an IR game, so as long as you have two Henlong tanks, or even Toro and Tamiya now, we're, they're all compatible, I believe, um, so you can you know fight other tanks, but basically it becomes like a game of who can get five hits and it'll shut the tank off and you just start it up again. So kind of cool that way. And then of course, the tank has the ability to shoot uh, airsoft pellets. So they give you two packages of airsoft pellets that you could put in and fire out, which is great. And then you get your transmitter. Now with the transmitter, all the there's a lot of functionality with it. Obviously you could turn the smoke on, you could change the volume of the speaker, uh, you can control the turret, the gun movement, um, the whole tank will show you in a bit, but they do give you for that TK7 board, they give you an in-depth manual that really goes through how to set it up um, for guys who really want to take it to the next level as far as steer steering control. So obviously these tanks can move unscale out of the box right you can plug it in they'll drive super quick a tank would never move that fast you can dumb down the uh the throttle and everything within the transmitter very easily where if you push full throttle the tank will only ever move as fast as a scale tank would so guys who are playing in real competitions with them you know that's the things they like to do and the fact that you can do it with a you know ready to go ready to run transmitter and not a separate higher end transmitter uh is great you get a lot of functionality with it so again we have everything here um let's get it let's get it powered up while we're on the table so instead of the screw being here which uh used to be a pain in the butt because you had to unscrew it take it out now they added like a slider mechanism so you can pull this slider forward and then uh just take take the uh the K cover right off. Just easier access, simpler. And then they also changed the connections on a lot of these to XT60, which is great. They used to be um, that like older style uh, connection to me, a connector, I believe it was. But now it's gonna be uh, LiPo. Again, fits perfectly in there. So then we could just pop this in. I forget which way it was supposed to go. I think it goes that way. Yep. And you pop that up. 
You just drop it in and then it locks into place and you're good to go. So now the tank is plugged in and now you want to find your on switch. So on the Tiger One, I believe the on and off is going to be right here in this little compartment. There it is. I can lift the compartment up and then I'll turn it to show you so the compartment can lift up and you have your on and off switch inside. But first thing I'm going to do, turn on the transmitter. Transmitter takes six AA batteries. So you're just going to want to keep that in mind. That's the only thing you'll need out of the box. And then we'll just turn on our tank and you will see right away when you turn your tank on that your light should start flashing. So you have the lights up front, the LEDs, and that means nothing's gonna happen yet because it's not armed. What you're gonna have to do is push the lock button on the transmitter, and now lights go solid and the tank arms up. So now that the tank is armed, it will start moving. It'll start moving the turret. I don't wanna drive it off the table quick and put it right here for a second. I'm gonna lower the volume, or let's raise the volume so you can hear the control. Let's hear the volume first. So again, you push the volume button and then up and it'll get really loud or you push down while you hold it and you could turn it off to make it silent, which is great. So it'll still, you know, still move without the sound, but let's hear what it does because all the sound effects are really great on these tanks. You can make it pretty loud and then the turret, turret traversing always sounds good. You got up and down on the barrel, which is nice. You fire the guns sound of the, of the cannon shooting, you got machine gun sounds, and also that corresponds with a light on all tanks pretty much have it. You got a red light will flash for the machine gun, which is always cool. Then driving, you'll hear the, uh, the sound as well, so if I start moving forward, wow, it sounds like a diesel. Yeah, I'm not trying to drive it off the table. For a second, we'll take it outside and play with it. Now I'm gonna lower the volume now, and then I'm just gonna hit the smoke unit. So now for this one, smoke's coming right out the back. So I don't know if you saw how fast I pushed that button, but the smoke immediately started coming out. If I push it again, smoke goes away, blow it, if I start it, boom, right away smoke. That's, that's so different than the older versions, which is just a great feature with all these new tanks. I know the smoke should be black, it's a diesel, I get it. A lot of guys complain about how the smoke looks, but either way, you got smoke working on your tank. It just makes it look so cool uh, overall. And if you want to load that up, basically what you're going to do, um, they give you a dropper. You would take the dropper out and they give you actually, I don't have it, but they have like an extension tube that comes with it. I think it dropped on the floor, but uh, it's just a little extender. You get in wherever the smoke comes out, you drop two or three little just drops. Little goes a long way right down in and it goes into the into the unit to add more smoke oil so that's the only that's the way you refill it and there's already smoke in there at the beginning when you take them out so you don't have to add it at the start and then as far as that goes the only other thing left i'm going to shut off the volume completely would be if you want to use so if we want to load the uh load the airsoft pellets or do the IR sensor. So your IR sensor, you just lift one of the covers, you're gonna see the, uh, the port that connects uh, your IR sensor. So you just connect that up like that. And then there's a magnet somewhere on the top of the tank. On this one, it happens to be right on top of here. There's a magnet there where that'll hold that down. So then you're ready to go uh, if you wanna play IR. And if you don't wanna do the IR, and you wanna load in the BBs, and that goes in the other compartment. And you tell there's inside there, there's like a little hole that'll lead to uh, the mechanism inside that takes, that accepts one of those. And we'll do that right outside here in a second when we take it out and drive it around. But overall, man, S33, Tiger One, one of my favorite tanks in general, just so popular. I like the uh, shape of it, just really cool. But now with the camouflage version, it looks really good. And a lot of the upgrades really, you know, take hang long uh, for their price range, really take them up the notch for guys who want to get into RC tanking. But um, that's it for my speech in here. Let's take it outside and drive it around. All right, we're outside. Tank is turned on, transmitter's on. So I'm going to push the, uh, the lock button. Let's get the tank armed up. So you hear it sound and then you can just move the controls and you can start seeing the tank do what it does. So um, again, your right stick is gonna drive the tank forward backwards and will traverse it, yaw it left and right. So if I push forward, that's full forward, right out of the box, full backwards. You see, she has more than enough speed um, 
you know, that is unscale. But again, it's proportional. So the slower I move the controls up, you can see the proportional steering. That's barely forward, and you see it'll drive a lot more scale. And you can proportionally, you know, increase your throttle, and it'll drive faster, which is great. And it works for both the yaw, uh, again, proportionally, or the forward and back. And then on your turret, the left stick is gonna do everything associated with your turret. So now, on all Henlong tanks, they are not full 360. They'll get to about here, and then you can hear that click. You don't wanna do that too often. That just means you got uh, as far as you could go, but it'll traverse completely in the opposite direction uh, to that same point. So again, almost 360, but not full 360. It'll get to a point where it'll stop. So just be wary of that if you're driving it around. And then up and down on that left, stick is going to traverse the barrel and you can see the barrel movement up and down and I believe with the Tiger 1 no we don't get we don't this one does not have barrel recoil I thought it did but um, we did preload it up with BBs so let's drive it around if you see in the back here we have our target there you go, hitting the target pretty good. You can see it fires pretty quickly. You definitely don't want to stand in front of it uh, at close range. It'll give you a little sting if it, uh, if it hits you. So just be wary, you know, that nobody's behind you or anything when you are shooting these. And they will go pretty far as well. But so just driving it around again, guys, it's really cool. It'll traverse a lot of tough terrain. Like I'll bring it back over here to some wood chips and such. And it'll definitely, you know, go over things like that. And I just love when when you hit certain like bumps and stuff, you really see the tires, like if you focus on those wheels, they all have like independent suspension in them. So they all move up and down um, like a real tank would. It just, you know, rolls over anything. Like, let me roll over that rock if I can. I'm at a different angle, but oh, now I'm facing the wrong way for the camera. But yeah, it'll go, you know, it just looks really cool. They are fun to mess around with and I can't do it from the direction I'm in. But if I roll, roll, let's roll over that stick. There you go, see the tires? Look at that. Look how cool that looks. I love the way they sort of like just mold to whatever surface uh, they go over, just like a real tank would and why it would have treads like that to get over those sticky situations. And this thing will do it. And again, unscale, but you can really make scale movements. If I start driving slow, I'm gonna turn the smoke on too and just slowly traverse the turret. Like if I proportionally control the turret, like check that out, bring the barrel down while it's traversing left, while the tank is moving, bring the barrel up, like it's scoping things out. All around just super cool. Um, for anybody who's into World War II or tanks in general, um, you're gonna love this, you're gonna have a lot of fun. And if you have multiple tanks, when you put the IR sensors on, we'll sprinkle in some footage from um, some of the other tanks just to show you. Not really much to show there, they hit, they shake, and then after five hits, uh, the tank will turn off and all you do is push the lock button on the transmitter, start it up, and you got five new lives. So all around though, guys, you're really, really gonna love this model. So let's wrap up this video back in the studio. So there you have it guys, that's the S33 version of the Tiger One from Henlong. Um, check it out at the link down below. Um, overall, just another stellar tank. You see, I got a bunch of them behind me. Uh, the tanks are awesome and this one is no different. Uh, again, it's going to be available in the upgrade version, which means plastic treads, um, plastic hubs, plastic internals, or professional version. For guys who want to pay a little more, you're going to get all metal um, down on the bottom, so it makes it a lot heavier and a little beefier if you really want to bash. But if you're just taking this around the yard, maybe to a local park, not trying to do too much with it, it's going to work great for the upgrade version. And of course, just like all of them, they're great looking static models aside from being the fact that they can do all the cool RC stuff. Uh, either way, it's just a good looking tank in general. So guys, if you have any questions about this model or anything else, leave them in the comments down below. Uh, I thank you so much for watching. Hit the like button on your way out the door and we'll see you for the next video at Motion RC. Bye guys.